Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. As you can see, I am back home, a little jet lag. Uh, got in late last night. Go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. Hey, listen, tonight we are going to be together, the four of us, Stock Mo, Keenan Grace, and Stocks with Josh. Listen, go ahead, hit the like button if you've been rolling with me for a while. These are some exciting times. I'm gonna try to keep this one brief. Brief, brief. I keep putting T T H on there. Brief. <laughs> All right. All right, good people. You you know how we do it. We keep it real here. Hey, um, um, so let's get right into some uh news. We're gonna just cover a little bit of uh, um stocks and a little bit of crypto, and then the four of us will be on tonight. Listen, for tonight, just get a notice by hitting the uh, notification bell, you'll see a video that's going to pop up in your upper right hand corner. But first, in your bottom right hand corner, hit that like. And uh, if you've been rolling with me for a while, like, subscribe, and notification bell if you're new to the page. Let's get in to it. Let's get into it. All right, what's going on today? All right, so we got stuff going on. Let's see. What's going on? This is the Wall Street Journal. This is what's happening today. Stock market, uh, U.S. Today indexes the Dow, S&P and Nasdaq all lose steam in the afternoon. At the time of filming this, we could see they have all come out today. Of course, is the sixth. They have all come off of their highs of the morning and has popped down. OK, they kind of drop, lost a little steam. And these are some of the things that's happening. U.S. stocks. Uh, handed back morning gains. We see the Russell 2000. You know, we see what happened here. Treasury yields uh, dropped, all right? The 10 year was recently at 4.19, uh, down from 4.171, okay? Bitcoin rally presses on. We're going to continue to talk about that. The other stuff, home builders, Asian market, blah, blah, blah. You guys know. What's going on with all of that? You can read that report. Now, here's what's happening that's really big and important. We got uh, we got the big boys in AI uh, releasing their chat GPT versions, their per, their versions of these language models. Right. Also, too, we had productivity, the productivity report. It was up. So product productivity was up this morning. Right. And remember when I was on. Uh, out in L.A., we had job openings fell sharply from September to October by 600,000. So there were 600,000 less jobs. And I believe we have a new job data coming out tomorrow. OK, we get all of that in. Now, listen, I want you guys to listen to this uh, and we're going to see what the big boys are doing to get into this A.I. fight, artificial intelligence and see what they're going to do to combat the chat GPTs in these language models. Take a listen. Today's tech check. Hi, Dee. My good morning. So Google's latest bid to prove that it can keep up and lead the AA arms race, that is Gemini. It's the next version of its large language model. And really, it's the answer to OpenAI's chat GPT. Now, rather than the big events surrounding these announcements that we've become used to this year, this was a much more subdued virtual rollout for a select group of reporters. And true to Google and Sundar Pichai's more cautious stance in that race this year, it is being piecemealed out. The company citing a need for more extensive safety testing for its most advanced version. So what can it do? Well, a lot of the really impressive features that ChatGPT4 users have been touting now for a few months, like multimodal tasks. That means that it can incorporate images and sounds, but it's better if we just show you. So here's one of the examples where a user asks Gemini to give him some crafting ideas. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay. Now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? Now, Sundar Pichai calls Gemini a new era of AI and a huge leap forward that, uh, that will affect and 
flow across Google products. Wall Street, though, concerned with one product in particular, and that is search, how Google will use AI to protect that cash cow from disruption. We got a glimpse earlier this year when Google previewed Search Labs, where search meets generative AI. It really delighted investors and seemed to put to rest the idea that Google was behind in this race. Gemini will be a key piece in that evolution. But as we have seen, guys, this is a race that moves quickly. One day you are on top, and the next your CEO is ousted in a boardroom coup. A conversation I've been increasingly having here in Silicon Valley is what the race might look like next year. Alphabet shares, they haven't done much on the news this morning. Better, faster models, that now seems to be a given. But it's applica applications, monetization, and AI safety. Those are likely to get greater focus in the year ahead. I see I'm not the only one <laughs> struggling today, <laughs> you know. Hey, so you guys heard it. Uh, AI uh, is just going to continue to push through 2023 into 2024. I mean, we got Google uh, with these large language models such as chat. Uh, GPT. Uh, it is amazing what is able to happen now. Uh, AI actually being able to help you with your creativity, which is insane. Now, AMD has a new AI chip, and I want you guys to listen to this. It is related to tech. It is AMD. They got a new chip, and they're looking to take on NVIDIA. Christina Partsinevelos joins us now from San Jose with more on this story. What do we know? Well, just like you said, this is about proving that AMD is a suitable competitor to NVIDIA's H100 chip used to power large language models. But when compared with NVIDIA's H100 chip, AMD's version, the MI300X, does have more bandwidth and memory capacity and also operates on open, open source software. NVIDIA chips need to operate on its own CUDA software. But NVIDIA software is more commonly used, which means higher switching costs and could lead to a slower AMD uptake for new customers. AMD estimates AI data center will bring in about $400 million in Q4 this present quarter with $2 billion next year. That's specifically geared towards their MI300 chips. Investors will be looking for details on whether that $2 billion threshold will increase today. So a few things to keep an eye out for uh, this big event that's happening. Everybody's in the other room right now. It's still early uh, right now on East, uh, West Coast time, I should say. But who are AMD's partners? Which hyperscalers will take to the stage and show that they are now buying from AMD, not just NVIDIA? Any increases to the MI300 2024 estimates and performance me metrics, especially when you compare to uh, NVIDIA's H100. So there you have it. The AI race is not over. Artificial, to, in my uh, honest opinion, I believe that uh, AI... Uh, has saved us from a 2023 recession. Now we are looking for what? A Christmas rally. If we have a Christmas rally and have a year-end closeout, a nice year-end bump, that would be really, really cool. But I do expect some sort of pullback in January. And if it doesn't happen, I'm not saying it's going to happen. And if it doesn't happen, then uh, consider that a blessing. Take your money and run. Now, I also want to say, uh, before, just before I get into uh, some quick crypto, I also want to say that my DCA in crypto right now, the crypto mining companies, I want to stress that I do, D-O, even though it's dollar cost averaging, I do have some stop losses set, though looser than normal, all right? So if you're used to setting a 5%, uh, percent, you know, it's OK to set a 10 percent or whatever you do. You I'm not telling you what to do with your stop losses, but I do have stop losses set, even though I don't have much in already. All right. So just as a little protection, I do expect a drawdown. And uh, so I'm going to keep a, a very loose stop loss as I DCA. OK. All right. Um, let's go right into it. Listen, uh, make sure. Now, this is Stock Up You. If you really want to learn the stock market and crypto, we will be before the end of the year. We will have a complete chapter for crypto and myself stocks with Josh options with Keenan. And then we're actually going to do some frequently frequently asked questions in those. Right. Again, that will be the top link below. And we're going to go into crypto after that. And then also too, lastly, I want to share with you about the stock squad okay we are giving all of our plays 
all four of us, you see Keen and Grace, you see Stocks with Josh and Stock Mo there. That is in the Patreon. That will be the second link below. Let's go right into crypto. Let's look at the crypto bubble. All right, we can see the crypto bubble right there. And as we go down here, we could see that Bitcoin, all right, market cap, the biggest market cap in all of crypto. It's like the Dow up 0.1% for the hour, for the day, 04 for the week, 166 for the month, 26, and for the year, 159%, all right? Just before closing, let's go and let's look at some of the um, crypto mining companies, all right? These are the crypto miners. These are mine. These are the ones that I like. I know about BitFarms and I know about all of the other ones. These are the ones that I'm tracking, right? So we could see HUD 8 is down 10.44%, but... HUT, the numbers that you see on HUT still give them a little time to correct uh, because I don't think what you're seeing is absolutely correct. Though I did buy, I did purchase more HUT today, okay? I'm purchasing more HUT today. I just did it just before getting on, all right? For those of you that's in the Patreon, I just did it, buy more HUT. Now, I'm not telling you to buy more HUT. I bought more HUT, right? All right. So it wasn't a big play, so I didn't post it in the stock squad. All right, so let's look at what's going on here. Let's look at the five day. As you could see, Bitcoin is up. You know what? We're not going to look at HUT because these numbers, we have to really kind of wait. When you, whenever you have a reverse a stock split or a five to one, seven to one, 10 to one stock split, forward stock split, the numbers are skewed and it usually takes about a week to correct, okay? Uh, so I don't know if this is correct or not, to be honest with you. In the last five days, Clean Spark is up. Look at that, good people. 36%. Killing it. Riot is up. 13%. And Mara is Big Daddy number two, all right, uh, for this week, right? But it's Big Daddy of all of them so far. All right. So they're outperforming what? Bitcoin. Let me... Let me let me uh, get that up there for you. So they are all outperforming Bitcoin, which is at 13 percent. Right. So let's go to the month. Right. Let's see how we're doing for the month. As we can see for the month, Clean Spark is cleaning house up 109 percent. Hut is showing three three hundred and forty five percent. But there again, let's wait to next week to get the true Hut numbers. Right. We got twenty five percent on Bitcoin and four times as much. So this has been my message since 2020, that you can make more money on the companies that mine CleanSpark, uh, that mine Bitcoin, should I say, than actual Bitcoin. And then one last one, year to date. Okay, look at that, year to date. Bitcoin is up 164%. But Clean's Park is 350% followed by Marathon or Mara and Riot. So you could see absolutely cleaning house with these crypto mining companies. There was one last thing I wanted to talk about uh, that the lady said about uh, AMD. Who are the companies that are working with AMD, right? Who are their suppliers? Who are AMD suppliers? We want to look at that. I know you guys, a lot of you guys are only doing options with AMD, NVIDIA and all of those companies. But I'm here to tell you that I believe that even in even if a recession does come in 2024, that NVIDIA and AMD will see some gains in that year. So don't just do options. Make sure you add to your long term positions. OK, check out the top two links below stock up you listen i'm going to say this from now until the end of the year there are no more discounts right the price that you see with stock up you is our early bird special which i've had since i've launched it it will be going up the day after christmas okay so it's going up the day after christmas into 2024 all right all right govern yourselves accordingly we will see you guys tonight as we um, as we celebrate coming off of raising over thirty one thousand dollars 
spearheaded by my my man Keenan Grace. I'm going to short share a little footage uh, coming off of the the uh, L.A. Uh, meetup. It was absolutely phenomenal. I am blessed to be <clears throat> excuse me in the 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 in the same building with Stockmo Keenan Grace. We had Chris Sane and Stocks with Josh. We poured out. And uh, if you were there, leave us a comment. All right. We love you guys. We'll see you tonight. Make sure you tap on to that video and join us tonight with the live. Peace.